gonna start our pineapple filling. I have a little stock pot here and I have four cups of fresh chopped pineapple, okay? And of course it's gonna release the juice and you want the juice in there. Sorry about the plop. And to this, we are going to add some brown sugar. I will have the ingredients listed in the description box. Some white sugar, and we're gonna get this mixed. And we're gonna let this bubble for about 20 minutes or so. And I always put a little pinch of salt when I'm doing these sweet jams or jellies. I just feel like that just intensifies the flavor. We are not gonna add water to this because as you can see, the pineapple is very, very juicy. So it doesn't need all that extra water. And when you make the empanadas, you don't want it to be all watery and all the filling running out of them. And okay, so we're gonna let this sit for a bit and get that to simmer and we'll be right back. Okay, it's been about five minutes since I've had this up here simmering. I am going to add in the cornstarch to thicken up the filling. And then we're gonna turn down the heat and let it simmer for about 20 minutes, just until the pineapple gets nice and soft and pretty much falls apart when you hit it with the spoon. So we're just directly gonna add the cornstarch to the mix to the pineapple and the lemon juice. And we're gonna give this a good mix and it's gonna thicken up right away. So you wanna really turn down the heat. You see how it, how it starts to thicken everything up real nice? So turn it down so it doesn't stick on you. I'm gonna let this simmer and I'll be back. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and you can see how nice and shiny this is and the pineapple is very soft. I'm gonna turn this off, transfer it to a bowl and let it cool completely. Uh, you can even do this the night before and let it cool so you can have it ready for your uh, dough. I'm gonna move you all over to the counter and we'll start our dough. Now for the crust for the empanadas, the dough, I am going to make it here in my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can do it by hand. You need to get one of these pastry cutters. I will have this link for you in the description box. And we are going to start with some dough. And the measurements will be in the description box as always. Okay, we're gonna add in our flour, our salt, our sugar. We're gonna give this a pulse. Make sure everything is nice and incorporated. Okay, that should be good. All right, now we are going to add in the wet ingredients. I cut up my butter into real tiny squares like this. And what I do is I pop it into the freezer to make sure that it's very, very cold by the time I use it. Okay, so we're gonna pop this in here. We are going to add our sour cream and a lightly beaten egg. Now we are gonna give this a pulse. Okay, we're gonna check it at this point and the pieces of butter are still quite large, so we're gonna give it a little bit longer. Okay, it's coming together. And I like to move it around to make sure that every bit of the flour is getting a little bit of, of butter, because that's where all the flakiness comes in. Okay, and it's coming together. It still needs just a little bit more. See how if you pinch it together, it's still falling apart a little bit though. Now it's much, much better. You see that? That's exactly the consistency you want. When you pinch it together and it feels just a little bit damp, this is the perfect consistency for this dough. Okay, I'm gonna pop this onto the counter. Alrighty, I've got some saran wrap that we're gonna need. I'm gonna pop this out onto the counter. Okay, and then we're just gonna press this together and just bring all this dough together. It may seem a little crumbly at first, but it's fine. Okay, we're gonna separate it into two parts. And we're gonna wrap it in some saran wrap. Press it down into a disc. Okay, 
we're going to pop this into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and then we will start uh, prepping the empanadas to bake them. Okay, we're back. I have a couple of things here. I have my cookie tray with my parchment paper, a cookie scoop, a little fork, a knife, a couple of sheets of parchment paper that I just cut into little squares, and a tortilla press. Now, if you don't have a tortilla press, that's okay. You can roll out the dough. It's not a problem. And I also have a, an, a slightly beaten egg that we're gonna use to top our empanadas. Now, what I have found, we're gonna use our tortilla press here, is that um, the size of the empanada that I make, I measure it according to this cookie scoop, okay? And I have found that that works. The size, I like it, it works good for me, so that's what I use. So I just press on the dough, I take off all the axis, so just whatever fits in this little scoop, okay? If anything comes out, just take that off, and then put it in your hand, and roll it into a little ball. Press it down on your first parchment. Make sure we have a good view here. Press the next parchment, and give it one good press. Turn it. And give it another press and this is the perfect size for me to make an empanada okay so with this I'm gonna take some of my pineapple filling that we have over here in the corner and I'm gonna put it in here try not to overfill it I think that's the biggest one of the biggest mistakes people make when making empanadas is they overfill them now we're just gonna take our dough and roll it on itself like that. Peel off your paper. And then just press the edges together. Make sure you get a good seal. And if you want to reshape them a little bit so that they look pretty, that's okay too. And then take your little fork and crimp the edges just like that. Don't push too hard so that you don't bake, break the pastry. And that's it. You put it on your baking sheet, which I will transfer over here. And then you just keep going. So we'll do one more here. So measure the dough. Put it on your press. press it with the on the paper like this and then just separate it just like that shape it back together and get your little fork and press crimp it down just like that I'm gonna keep going with these and then I will be back. Okay, we are back. We have, we made eight empanadas out of this one batch. I've already made the other batch and I only got six. So it just depends on the size, how many you're gonna get. And out of the pineapple filling, I didn't even use half of it. So if you wanna just put half of the pineapple, I will leave the, the ingredients uh, listed below on how to just make half of this, okay? But don't throw this away. Freeze it in smaller batches and you can make empanadas at a later date and you already have your pineapple filling. 
Okay, so now our next step for this is you take your lightly beaten egg and we're going to brush these. You're going to have your oven preheated to 400 degrees. And then as soon as we pop these into the oven, you're going to lower the temperature to 375. <clears throat> Okay, make sure you brush them real well so they can get a nice, nice coating, uh, color on them. Okay, now we're going to take our little knife and we're going to just prick a little hole, a vent hole. So in case it's too steamy, it has somewhere to go and the empanada won't just blow up on you. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pop them into a 400 degree oven, turn down the heat to 375 and I'm going to bake them for approximately 25 to 35 minutes. You have to check your oven. So I will be back. Okay everybody, the empanadas are out. These are just fresh out of the oven right here. I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to flip one over so you, you can see what it looks like. I hope you can see that. I will bring you in for a close up. And they did stay in there for 30 minutes. And these are still very hot. Okay, but I do have some here that I baked earlier. And I'm going to show you the inside. Look at that. And the crust. Let me show you the, let me show you the back side. Look at that. So we're going to go ahead and give these a taste. Now I do, oh, I do want to explain, on the first batch that I made, I actually put the empanadas into the freezer for about 30 minutes and then I popped them in the oven. And it seemed like the ones that I did that to did not break at all. Some of the ones, the ones that I just popped right into the oven did crack a little bit on the top. And I'm pretty sure that's what, what it was. Okay, let's give these a taste. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. The crust is so crunchy and flaky. Mm. The pineapple is just mm, perfectly sweetened. Very good, guys. Very crunchy. I really would recommend this recipe. I have been fiddling around with this crust recipe just a little bit, and I tried it the other day, and I absolutely loved it, so I wanted to share it with you. I did adjust some measurements. The recipe and everything that I used will be linked below. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and go visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. If you have any questions about the recipe, just drop me a comment and I will get back with you. And don't forget to share with family and friends. Okay guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye.